Hey Daniel, look what I found for you. One more equivalent system problem or system one, two, or three problem, okay? If we remember from these, there's two ways that the question might be stated. Number one, are they asking me for a force only system? Or number two, are they asking me for a force couple system, okay? You need to read the question to determine what you have. Am I going to have a system one, two, or a system one, two, three, okay? Let's see what it says. Replace the giving loading with a single equivalent force, a single force, okay? Not a force couple. So we're going to have system one, two, three on this one. What is the magnitude and the direction of the force? And where does it intersect line AB, which is uh, up here, right? Measured from point A, so measured from here, okay? Now, I left all this on the board from last time. Here's the biggest, the biggest screw-up that I see students making right there, okay? When we do these problems, step one is sum the force in the X, and students want to set that equal to zero. There's no. Don't set these problems to zero. So, remember, the forces in system one have to equal the forces in system two have to equal this force their equivalent systems. So those things have to be true, same as the moments. The moments have to be the same in all the systems. And I left this recipe up here from the last video because we'll just reuse it again, right? Step one, sum the force. If we've got to know if system one is the same as system two is, well, we need to know what's going on in system one. This is the given is system one, okay? So, Let's, let's just follow the recipe here. Sum the forces in the x, okay? Don't set them equal to zero. What do you see here in the x direction? One, that's it. Oh, that's gonna be easy, isn't it? If you miss that one, you're in bad shape. 200 pounds to the negative, okay? Step two, sum the force in the y. What do we have in the y? Well, I got 400 down, 600 down, 900 down, right? minus 900 pounds, okay? And then finally, well, not finally, but step three, sum the moments about the poi, the point of interest, okay? And the point of interest in this is measured from A. So that's my poi right there, point A, which is here. So take the moment about point A. Okay, also in the last video we introduced to you, the burrito force, and there's one right there, okay? He's going counterclockwise, so he is positive, okay? He is positive, so that's just 600. Don't have to multiply any distance, right? The 300 goes through, oh, here's a good point. If you have a moment about a point, you know, we knock out the forces going through that point, but do we knock out the moments? No, you can't knock you can't knock out a moment, okay? No. All right, then we have 200, which rotates us. Let's see, that's clockwise. So minus 200 times how far away? Three, okay? And then I got 400 over here, which rotates me clockwise, right? And that's times seven. So minus 400 times seven. And then I've got the 200, which rotates me, oh, clockwise again, minus 200 times, oh, how far away? If the force is in the x and the distance is in the y, times 2. And that's it, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Let's see what that is. That's 600. 400 times 7 is 2,800. And then that's minus 400. So 600 minus 600 is zero, and that's minus 3,200, right? Okay, so that's the moment at A, okay? There we go. So what's the next step? The next step is draw us a system two. Did y'all have one of these in your front yard as soon as you left for college with a for sale sign hanging off of it because your mom and dad sold the house as soon as you left? Sad day. Oh, it's so sad. Okay, here we go. What does the negative right there mean? 
means that that is a clockwise moment. Okay, so I have this, whoop, 3200. Because the next step, right, what's the next step? Draw the new system and move the items above, which are these three things here, to the point of interest. So I'm moving these three things, one, two, three, to this point of interest. The Y is 900. Okay, this guy is a uh, pound feet. And then, ooh, the X is negative also, isn't it? Okay, so again, if they asked me for a force couple system for this number two here, I would be done at this point, right? This is my system two. Okay, that is the same as that, right? It's the same forces in the X, it's the same forces in the Y, it's the same moments about A, it's the same. Okay, well, but we want a force only. We gotta get rid of that, that moment, okay? So it says, step five, slide the force until it makes the correct amount of moment. Okay, so here we go. Here's our last system. Okay, same, same deal. So here's point A, so we're gonna start sliding. Do we slide it to there, or to there, or to there, or, right, do we slide it to there? Remember, it doesn't have to be on the part necessarily, okay? So let's say we slide it to right here, okay? The forces are 900 and 200, okay? Now, about point A, does that 900 make a clockwise moment? Ooh, it does, doesn't it? I needed a clockwise moment, don't I? Okay, here's what I need, okay? The moment is equal to the force times the distance, okay? The moment is 3,200. And then the distance is what I'm looking for. And what is the force? What goes in there? This is usually where people mess this up. What goes in there? Okay, how much moment does the 200 make about this point here? None. The 900 is doing all the work. Okay, so D is equal to on 3200 divided by 900. 3.55 or 3.56 feet. So that's how far, and I should put, from A. So 3.56 feet from A, whoop, if I move it over to there, uh, that line of action, it will make the, that amount of moment, right? Now this, what does this say? What is the magnitude and the direction of this force? Well, that's kind of easy, isn't it? Because you have this, right? 200, 900, What's the magnitude of that? Well, there it is right there. FR, okay, is uh, 200 squared plus 900 squared equals, and then the square root of that is 921.95, right? So the, the answer is 921.95 pounds, right? That's the magnitude of the resultant force, okay? Ooh, at what angle? And you could write this a hundred different ways. I think the way I'll write it is this, watch this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Got my thing going backwards, that's okay. Okay, so that's this angle right here. Well, it's, if that's 900, then this is 900. And this is 200 up here, right? So that angle is, I can just use tan, right? Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, okay? So 900 divided by 200 equals inverse tan of that is 77.47 degrees. And there, that is the answer to part A. What's the distance along that line? That is the answer to part B. So this is A, and there's B down there. Okay? 
These should not be hard problems for you, these equivalent system problems. The hardest part is just re when you read the test, you've got to recognize that, oh, that's one of those system one, system two problems. You've got to be able to recognize that kind of problem. And usually you'll look at the problem and it'll say, find the equivalent or replace the given system with, right? And we're not doing it, we're not solving for anything, we're just taking a system and writing it a simpler way. There it is with a force in a moment, and there it is with a force only, okay? Biggest mistake people make. Here's the number one mistake right here. Boom. Taking this guy right here, finding the resultant, and then putting that resultant force right in for F right there. That's the number one mistake people do, okay? It's not the resultant. The resultant has X and Y in it, and the X doesn't make any moment, right? The Y, the perpendicular component, is the one doing all the work. That's the one that goes in the equation. So don't mess that up. All right, I'll see you next time.